Everybody, we are so happy to be back at Strawberry, and that's what this is, a different place, same festival. Uh, it's, it's really a treat, it's really a treat to be here, it's really a treat to see that uh, uh, Strawberry is, is continuing, and uh, when we came in here, we've been to this site before for other events, but when we came in today, it felt like Strawberry. we were on that the site was was a while ago 30 years ago oh the first strawberry was 30 years ago uh, Pete is gonna talk to you more later he's got all kinds of things that he can't wait to share with you but, but, but that's gonna come on that's that's gonna come later on in the show yeah okay Pete it's coming your time will come later uh, I should I should uh, I should mention, first of all, I don't know, it's, it's dark, but maybe you can make a little racket. Who's never seen Hot Rise before? Make a little racket out there. All right. All right, we're, uh, we'll be on our best behavior. I'll just tell you quickly with the banjo from Niwot, Colorado. He's a world-famous banjo and bluegrass educator, as well as a songwriter and musician. He's a, a talented and, and uh, industrious person. Dr. Banjo himself, Pete Wernick on the banjo. Carries his own towel. With a guitar from Asheville, North Carolina. Youngest member of the band. Uh, he's won every prize there is in, in uh, bluegrass. Uh, and he's won a Grammy. He's won all kinds of, of prizes with good reason. Mr. Brian Sutton on the guitar. Similarly uh, decorated and awarded every prize there is in, uh, in Bluegrass won a Grammy songwriter and, and also really prolific, uh, plays everything, sings great, writes great songs from Wheeling, West Virginia, originally Tim O'Brien on the band. Yeah. I'll introduce this other fellow. 
He's the tallest guy in the band. He has the most sisters and daughters in the band. Uh, he was born in Beirut, Lebanon. That's really true. You can ask him about that later. But his, probably his biggest claim to fame is a phenomenal radio show that he and his wife started in 1991. It's still going strong on hundreds of stations. How many people listen to E-Town? Mr. E-Town himself, please welcome Mr. Nick Forster, our bass player of Harmony Sandy. One of the reasons we're real excited about being here today is also this is the first show we've uh, played with actually our brand new record in hand. Yeah. It's brand new and we just got it today and uh, we're going to play a few songs from that. It's the first time we've made a studio record in about 25 years.